If you suddenly find that one of your courses has disappeared from your active courses drop down menu, chances are that the grading period associated with that class has expired. Students can only access active courses, so if there is content you need to make available again, you can simply assign a new active grading period to the course. This video will demonstrate how to assign a new grading period to a course, which is ideal if you simply need to restore students' access to a class. If you need to transfer content from an old section of a class to a new section with different members, refer to the Copying Content from Course to Course video. To find a course that is no longer active, visit the Courses drop-down menu and choose See All, which will bring up a listing of your current courses. Click on the Past button to access your past courses, in other words, courses whose grading periods have expired. I'll use Wired Writing Section 1 in this example, where I simply want students, or those enrolled in this class, to have access to it again, so I'll add a new grading period. To visit the class, just click on the hyperlinked section title. When I arrive in the class, I can see a message in a yellow bar across the top indicating the course's grading period has expired, and I can see what grading period or periods are currently assigned to my course. To assign an active grading period, I just need to use the drop-down menu under Course Options and choose Edit Info. This will bring up the Course Information tab where I can change some basic information about my course, including its grading period. The Grading Periods box is currently really tiny and filled with lots and lots of grading periods. I do not need to remove the old grading period, but I do need to add a new active one. A shortcut is to use Ctrl plus F on your keyboard to bring up a search window. This will make navigating this area much easier. If I'm looking for a grading period for semester 2, I can simply type S2 in the search box and hit enter. Even though I'm not at Lincoln Academy, I could use this grading period because its dates match the time period my students need access to the course. If you want to use a generic grading period, simply type GEN for generic in the search box. I'll use the arrows to advance through the search matches, which helps me quickly find Generic Semester 2. I'll choose that and click Save. It can take about 5 to 10 minutes, but now when I visit my course's drop-down menu, Wired Writing Section 1 has been added back to my active courses and appears as an option for my students and anyone enrolled in the course when they visit their course's drop-down menu. Grading periods are also important because they affect your views in the gradebook. Let me switch to a demo course where I've set up two different grading periods. I can use the drop-down menu to toggle between them and the assignments I've assigned to each grading period. The overall grade is an average of all assignments in a course, and the score by grading period can be seen in the column with that grading period's name. If you need to change the grading period an assignment is attached to, just use the Options Bulk Edit feature in the gradebook. Knowing how to find your past courses and being able to edit grading periods will ensure that you can easily make inactive courses active again if their original grading period cuts off access too soon. If you're needing to copy content from an old course section to a new course section with different members, check out the Copying Content from Course to Course video.